All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a Samsung Galaxy S3 phone that's having GPS issues or other signal issues. So right now I have the back cover obviously taken off the phone. I'm going to remove the battery. And what you're going to need for this job, which takes about 20 minutes, is two Q-tips, a very small flathead and Phillips head screwdriver, which you can pick up at any local store, Home Depot, Lowe's, Radio Shack, any hardware store will have that. And then what this is, is this is a graphite grease for conductivity. You can also use, I, I just bought this off of Amazon.com. You can also use a uh, dielectric grease, that would be okay too. Anything with lubricating properties is good. Um, this stuff is designed for antenna contact specifically, so we use that. So start by removing all the screws on the back of the phone. And gotta go around the whole outside and remove these. They're all the same size, so you don't have to keep worry about keeping track of which screw went where. Try and keep track of all the screws. That one just went flying. Find my other screw here. These screws are real small, so just try to be careful that you don't lose any of them. These really do help to hold the small contacts for your reception, so you'll see that once we get the phone open. So it's important that none of these get lost. All right, that's it. That's a lot of screws to take out. Okay, so we'll just set our little pile of screws off to the side here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my SIM card and my memory card out here. And we've got all the screws out of the phone now. So we're ready to go. So this whole back assembly now is just able to pop off so if you just pull up gently on it see how this whole back assembly comes off just make sure you're gentle and it just kind of pops off kind of like your battery door does so there's the back cover for your phone so there's a couple small pieces that can fall off like this small rubber piece here that kind of helps to uh, waterproof your connection where you charge your phone which is right here uh, so just make sure you try to keep track of all those pieces. Now, what I was talking about that these screws help make contact with are these small pieces right here. So you can kind of see those. They've got little spring-loaded pins. And what happens is that makes contact with this part right there on the motherboard. Maybe it's easier to just point at the screwdriver. So right there is what it makes contact with. And that's where we're going to lubricate these connections to get better contact and get the GPS working again. So there is uh, one more point that we need to remove, 
and that's this top section and that pops off in a similar way and I'm just going to kind of try to pop that off make sure there's no screws I don't believe there are that's what I'm going to use that's why I got this flathead screwdriver so it was nice to have a flathead screwdriver to kind of get under things so just pull gently up on that oh that popped off so now what that does is that houses your Wi-Fi and your GPS antenna so this is where all your antennas are in this setup up top here so you've got a couple of additional contact points one is right here in the corner there you can see which makes contact with this piece up here so you've got a number of these contacts that we're going to lubricate another area where things need to make contact is grounding for the motherboard so one so each one of these screws has a little surround a little metal surround and it needs to ground properly so what we'll do is we'll also put a little bit of that grease that you should have on each one of those if you don't have grease to lubricate where each one of these screws is grounded then a good thing to do is um, clean it up nicely maybe with some rubbing alcohol um, or even like a light like uh, just real gentle with like a something that's not very abrasive like a scotch brite pad or something like that so you've also got uh, one screw that uh, tends to be problematic on the motherboard which is right here so go ahead and remove that too and that also has that metal around it that's the only screw that's different from all the other ones so just make sure you keep track of that okay that's all there is to it now what we'll do is we'll clean those up if you uh, don't have any of this dielectric grease you can also choose to clean them up um, too I've already done that so I took some rubbing alcohol on a q-tip and just went around and brushed off each one of these connections so that's a good thing to do just like that so now what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of this grease get it on the q-tip and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through and just gently lubricate each one of these little connections just a tiny bit you don't really need to slop the stuff on too much but just hit those connections just with a tiny bit you got one up here in the corner that I missed okay just keep going around you've got three here you got some down here again you don't need much of this stuff just just enough to what this stuff does is it just helps it helps transfer the signal and plus it prevents corrosion so when the q-tip gets nasty like it has just go ahead and flip to the other side and grab a little bit more I'm gonna go around and hit each one of these screw connections a little bit just try not to leave a lot of excess I think that's uh, that's about it now another thing you can do is actually take the other side where contact is made and hit those contacts a little bit too it doesn't hurt to do that just the more you can lubricate these and protect them from corrosion the better that's typically why these issues happen all right this q-tip is shot so I'm gonna switch to the next one So we'll just go around and get some in the upper corners up here. That looks like it's about it for that. I'll take this piece that has all the antennas in it. We got a little piece up in the upper corner here that we should hit. 
a little piece in here. I'm sorry, I'm off the screen there. It's hard to do this and watch the screen at the same time. And that's about it. Okay, now when this snaps back on, you've got a small connector right here. Just be gentle with that. That needs to seat into this part right there. Try not to touch the camera either, the lens of it. If you need to push it down at all, go around the outside. Sometimes it pops up a little bit when you pull this top piece out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fit this in. And it kind of kind of snaps into place and then you'll feel it. It doesn't really make much noise when it snaps in, but you'll you'll kind of feel it seat. And then this little connector, just make sure you take your thumb and press that down. You'll feel that snap in a little bit too. You just just real gentle with that. It doesn't take much. And then what you can do is you can start putting your screws back in. And we'll just We'll just start with this top one, just to hold it down just a little bit, just to hold this top piece down. Okay, so now that piece is held into place. Now, the next thing we're going to do is get that screw for the motherboard that we took out. and. Make sure we put that in now before we forget. That goes right here. Make sure you get these nice and snug. And now we can put this back battery cover door back on or not battery cover door, actual back cover for the phone. And uh, that finishes up the job. Um, just make sure you go around and put all your screws back in. And uh, make sure you snug them up nice and tight. It is still seating in plastic so you can strip them out, so don't really over tighten them. But uh, make them nice and snug, because again, this back door helps hold down those little pin contacts against the motherboard, which is what makes contact for all the antennas. Your Wi-Fi, your phone antenna, your your uh, GPS antenna, and all your small battery contacts and whatnot. So uh, that should fix up your phone if you're having these uh, GPS search issues. So uh, good luck to you and uh, just be gentle throughout the process.